Hey, good morning, everybody. Positive Pat here. It is Thursday, December 21st, 2023. Super excited for tomorrow. I'm having some folks come over from my work as well as my band and just some friends in general have a little holiday get together. Really excited uh, for some of these people to meet my family because they've only ever met me and my family is probably the best part of me. So excited about that. I'm a big Christmas nut. So today I'm going to be talking more about the What Color Is Your Parachute book by Richard N. Bowles. Your guide to a lifetime of meaningful work and career success. So specifically, I'm going to talk about uh, his nine different, more traditional kind of conventional job search approaches. So the first would be probably the most conventional, which is just going on online job postings. And I'll make a list of these. And as always, I'm going to put a link into the, uh, you know, to the book to purchase on Amazon because I really believe in this stuff and in the books that I read. I'm a huge reader. It's a big hobby of mine. I read every day. So that's why I'm uh, part of the reason I'm doing these videos because I really enjoy reading. I want to give this stuff out as, as much as I can. Uh, hopefully it helps other people. So the first one would be more traditional job postings. This is going to be something like Indeed.com, Monster.com. I've had a lot of success picking up kind of gig work, uh, actually working on Craigslist. So that would be number one. Number two would be going to private employment agencies or uh, firms to do a search there. So this is where you can hire or you, you can go in, excuse me, don't hire. You'll get placed to a different job by one of these firms that is assisting to help you find a job. Number three would be answering ads in professional or trade journals that are appropriate to your field. So this could be reading a blog or reading an online journal or something where they have a link specifically to that field where you can apply to different jobs. Four would be joining job search support groups. So something, maybe meetup.com, where there's particularly folks that are in your industry or the industry you want to get in trying to apply for jobs. And it's a great way to network when you're doing something like that. You may end up meeting someone that happens to be there uh, from a company's recruiting uh, staff. Five would be going to state or federal employment offices. That's basically going to be going in person or going to, you know, going online uh, to something like the, the DOL.gov. Uh, and then six is going to places where employers pick up workers. So this is going to be probably more labor intensive, uh, you know, physically labor intensive. This is going to be something like day laborers going to Lowe's or getting picked up at Home Depot. So if you're just looking for really quick money, normally you can do those types of jobs and you probably will be paid, not a whole lot, but you'll probably get paid that day. So if you just need something really fast, you can, you can always do that. Participating in what we call now the gig economy or freelance work. So this would be doing a skill set that you can get paid for and have a profile for yourself on Fiverr. Uh, again, I've, I've done a lot of drumming gigs and picked up drum students from posting ads on Craigslist, stuff like that, Uber, anything like that. There's different ones that he mentions here. Um, there's, there's LinkedIn services, Upwork, Fiverr. There's a place called flexjobs.com. Eight is asking for job leads. So family, friends, people that you know, people in your LinkedIn community, just asking people if they know of any job opportunities that you're trying to get into. Uh, and then number nine is going to be knocking on the door of any employer, office, or manufacturing plant. And he really emphasizes here that this is going to work best with smaller companies. And the reason being is you can get quicker access to the decision makers uh, in a smaller company, you know, 25 or less versus you know, something, some massive company like Bank of America or something like that. And then if you're not finding success with that, we'll just broaden your scope and maybe go to companies that are maybe 50 people, but you're always probably going to have better luck trying to get an interview if you go in person to a smaller company, um, because the access level is, is going to be a lot easier. So those are the nine different, uh, ways that Richard Bowles speaks about more conventional job searching approaches. Now those are kind of old school, um, you know, the whole book is about really taking those methodologies and improving on them with what he calls the parachute method. And I'm working on that right now. He has an exercise in a book called the flower exercise. I just finished pedal one of the flower exercise, which is identifying the type of people that you do not want to work with. And also that you would want to work with based on their own characteristics. So probably in the next video, I'll explain what that looks like uh, for myself and that's, that was a very, very eye-opening experience for me when I did that this morning. So everyone take it easy. Have an awesome holiday season, and I'll be putting up another video tomorrow. See ya.